Hi, my name is Ken McCarthy, and in this short video, I hope to show you how to create lower thirds for your Teams or Zoom calls. We're going to use a number of different tools to do that. Uh, in the first instance, I'm using Canva, which is the website you can see here now, uh, to create the actual lower third itself. And then we use two other tools, Open Broadcast Software, OBS, um, to uh, be able to make that appear uh, within your uh, Zoom call. Um, and within OBS, we're going to install uh, a plugin for a virtual camera. Um, so I'm going to walk you through um, the steps that I took to create the lower third that I use on my Teams and Zoom calls. So the first thing is uh, you log into Canva. I'm just using the free account and in here we're going to create the actual um, image that we're going to use. So I, I select a presentation because it's full HD size, it's 1920 by 1080. Um, and the first thing we need to do is set the background color. So to set the background color, I just select background color up here at the top. And the green I want to use because we're going to be making that see through afterwards is 00FF00. Um, and I just select that there. So the entire background now is green. The next step is to create a number of elements on there um, where you can put text and, and other um, images or, or things like that. So I just created two rectangles. You can see I made them full width. Um, and change the background color. I'll make this one white and maybe about that height and move it to the bottom of the screen. Um, just need to make it slightly wider. Um, the next thing I did was I uh, copied that and pasted it, so I have a duplicate of it. Um, and I just changed the background color of this one uh, to blue. So now we have a blue bar and a white bar. The thinking here is I'm going to put my name in the blue bar and the title of the role that I do in the white bar. So again, going back to your Canva menu here, I select text, I'll add a heading, and I'll put in Ken McCarthy. And I'll just move that down in here and position it. And you can see Canva's kind of helpful. It'll help me center it and things like that. Obviously, I want to change the text color there from black to white. So again, just selecting color. And now the text is white. To add a subheading for my title, um, I just use the add subheading. Um, and I just wish I had a shorter title. Um, and I'm glad that I spelled it right. And again, I just moved that into place uh, here at the bottom. In the one that I had shared on Twitter, um, I had the college logo uh, to one side as well. And you can put in um, anything else you wanted there, um, pretty much. Um, I'm just going to create a simple one, one here now. So once we're happy with that, the next thing you want to do is download that as an image. Um, so I download it as a JPEG image. Just click on download. The image is downloaded. This is where Canva is trying to tell, sell me um, on using their service. So I have the image downloaded there now. The next bit is where you need to install some software on your PC. Um, I'm a Windows user and this works on Windows. Your mileage on Mac may vary, although I don't know if the virtual cam that I'm going to show you um, works um, on Mac just yet. The software that I mentioned at the start there was OBS or OBS Studio. Um, just download and install that. Um, you can accept most of the, the defaults and I'll show you what that looks like in a second. And then once you have OBS Studio installed, um, you need to go to this OBS Virtual Cam. And what that does is it allows you to send the output from OBS uh, to a virtual web camera. Um, and then you use that virtual webcam in whatever application you want to use, uh, i.e. Um, Zoom or, or Teams or indeed any other, um, any other application that would use a webcam. So I'm going to show you now what um, OBS looks like um, when I have it uh, installed and opened up on the desktop. So this, this is what OBS looks like. Um, and it operates on the basis of scenes. Um, so the first thing you need to do is create a new scene. So we're going to call this uh, title. 
and we're going to say OK. Uh, within there, I need to now add that background image that I just created. So I've downloaded the image, and you can see in here in the sources, it's asking me what are the sources for this scene. So the first source is going to be that image. So I've just downloaded that image, and we're going to just call this uh, lower third, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and we're going to say OK. And now it's asking me, where is this image? So I've just downloaded that. It should be in my downloads. Uh, it's this one. So, so here it is. So that's now the background of this scene in OBS. And I say OK to that. The next thing I want to do is I need to tell it that I don't want to see this screen. So I want that to be see-through. So if I right-click on, on this and go to Properties, um, sorry, right-click on it and go to Filters, I beg your pardon, you'll see here it's asking me what effect filters I want to add. And I want to add a chroma key, and chroma key is what takes out the takes out the green. So I can just accept the default name for chroma key, and you can see now uh, it's black. So that's given me that bit. But now, of course, I need to add the input from a webcam as well. Um, so if I click on Add and go to um, videos, Video Capture Device, it should show me what um, webcams um, are on my system. Um, so I say OK. And my webcam is this one here on this particular machine, BCC950. And I say OK to that. Um, now, as it happens, you can see me now. Hi, hi everybody. Um, I have a green screen um, in this background here. Um, so I'm just going to scale that uh, to, to however big I want it. Um, because I have that camera added on another scene, that's why it's not filling the, the entire frame there. But um, we, can, we, can, we can probably make it do that as well. Um, and what I want to do is move it so as that it's beneath the, 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 the lower third. Um, Normally on a widescreen camera, it will fill these black boxes here. But I could put in uh, something else, you know, to, to, to fill those to fill those areas. Once I'm happy that this looks um, the, the, the way I want it to, uh, and if I just switch back to my normal um, set of uh, scenes and profiles, um, I might have one that I prepared earlier. Uh, So yeah, I do it's, it's this guy, it's this guy here with with my title. Actually, I go back to back to the, the the one we just created. So now I have this ready to to use, and to use that within an application, I go to Tools here after I've installed that virtual cam, and I just need to turn the virtual cam on. So I want to just have that turned on. It's it's on now. Click on Start. So the virtual cam is running, and if I go into a um, if I open up a, a Zoom meeting here now. Um, so this is my Zoom meeting running. I'm just going to minimize down this in the background. And in Zoom, on my video here, I'm now selecting OBS camera as my camera. And once I start the video, you'll now see that's what, uh, that's what it looks like. And you can see I have uh, a because I'm using the green screen, it's putting in the, the, the college campus here behind me. Um, I just don't have this scaled up uh, exactly right to fill the screen here, but that's just because I was I was changing some other settings. So that gives you just a, a, a quick idea and a quick flavor of how you'd create uh, lower thirds uh, and use them within your Zoom or Teams meetings. For Teams, it's exactly the same. Um, what I'd encourage you to do is play around with Canva, Play around with OBS. There's lots of other things you can do with OBS as well. Um, besides um, just creating lower thirds, you can use it for transitions. You can use it for taking multiple uh, inputs uh, and sharing them. Um, and the virtual cam, the power of that is that it allows you to take what you're doing in OBS um, and share it uh, via Zoom. So look, hopefully you found that useful. I'll put the links in the description below for uh, all of the, the tools that I used. and. Um, I suppose I probably should thank Mark Bin for calling me out on this. Uh, that's what happens when you show things off on Twitter. Thanks a million. Bye now.